How's it going, everybody? Akibana Zero here, and I am back with another spoiler-free Ruby Volume 8 review. I've just finished watching and reacting to Volume 8 Chapter 2, uh, titled Refuge, and I'm just going to deliver a few spoiler-free uh, spoiler thoughts for those of you who have not watched uh, chapter 2 quite yet. If you haven't watched chapter 1, please don't watch this because I might refer to some of the things that happened in chapter 1. If you're kind of waiting to binge the show or something like that, this video isn't really uh, for you. <laughs> so please uh, go away now. <laughs> uh, now, the thing I want to uh, point out, first of all, is that this uh, episode further cements that whole tone that the show is uh, going for it now in volume eight that dark somber very precarious tone that whole thing that gives you an idea that something bad something really bad is going to happen is further cemented in this episode and it makes me very worried for several characters at the moment i've mentioned penny quite a bit in my reaction and i feel that way is that penny is headed in that direction. But there's an instance in the intro where we see Penny, there's a glass that shatters, and that kind of leads me to believe that there is something's going to happen with her. I mean, you could say on the one hand that maybe her whole world is kind of shattered. She's always been that character that, you know, has been always very happy, very, very nice, very kind, very gentle, but suddenly to see how everything now is become not as rosy not as rosy and as nice as as she would expect this kind of you know creates a bit of a dilemma in her head i think one of the very interesting things that they're pushing right now in this volume is the idea of being divided which because because we know that uh, team ruby has always been about unity they've always tried to be together and there was there was an in, a few instances in this episode which kind of make you feel that this is this uh, idea is actually being expanded on even further that the team has opposite opinions on what needs to happen and right at the center of that as always is uh, is ironwood who has complete who has on the one hand almost uh managed to grasp and trust uh, other people and then suddenly everything just went to shit and he is not, he has no trust in anyone now this uh, generally this episode uh didn't have a lot in terms of you know a lot of meat it was more like further cementing the ideas of the of the first episode but there was there were there was a big moment that actually is extremely significant for the remainder of this of this volume it, it makes it makes the whole situation that our heroes are facing a lot more precarious a lot more dangerous and a lot more uh you know difficult to face there's, there's definitely going to be big uphill battles in front of us uh here on out a lot of difficulties and it's not just in terms of facing enemies but it's also i guess the idea of facing the enemy within so to speak like the the the, th the emotions or to overcome certain personal obstacles with uh amongst the group itself but overall, I thought it was it was a, it was an OK episode. It's not an episode that you will you will uh, remember uh, fondly. But there is there are, there are a couple of moments in there that are very cru crucial to the storytelling. And I thought they were very well executed. But like I said, like I've said many times before, I kind of feel there are some that I feel this show needs needs to be a little bit snappier, so to speak a little bit snappier when it comes to the storytelling i i still stand by my opinion that ruby does have a few too many characters and it's very difficult to do good character development when you have such like you know limited space right i mean there is that that pesky thing called i have an episode this long and i have to fit this much in they're doing a they're doing a good job. I wouldn't say that this episode felt as slow as some of the episodes that we had in Volume Seven, but they there are uh, I I do feel things can get a little bit snappier, so to speak. But again, I'm not. Uh, this is my personal opinion. I'm not judging the storytellers. Overall, I'm intrigued. I want to watch more. Can't wait. 
to see what happens next. If you enjoyed this uh, little quick uh, spoiler-free review, please leave the video a like and subscribe to the channel because it helps a lot. I'd like to tip my hat over to my hat gang over at twitch.tv slash Akibana Zero, where I stream live every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, 8.30 p.m. UK time. Come and join over. We have nice chats. Get to watch me play games and uh, watch me rage on occasion as well. And we throw in a few a few dad jokes here and there as well. <laughs> we get, we're a lively bunch. So anyway, guys, I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.